figure shows part of a model of a DC motor. A loop of wire ABCD is free to rotate about the axis shown. There is a current in the loop in the direction indicated by the arrows. On figure, draw arrows to show the directions of the forces acting on side AB and on side CD of the loop. Let's start with side AB. As you need to know where is the motion direction, you need Fleming's left hand rule. By applying Fleming's left hand rule on the side wire AB, this is how your hand will be. Your first finger points to the direction of the magnetic field, which is from north to south as shown in figure. At the same time, your second finger must point with the direction of the current, inside AB of course. This shows that the side wire AB will be pushed by a force upwards. So simply we can show it by an arrow. Let's now find out what will happen to side CD. Again applying Fleming's left hand rule. Your first finger will point with the direction of the magnetic field from north to south. The second finger will point with the direction of the current from positive to negative, which is from D to C. So this shows that this side of the wire will be pushed downwards. So simply we will draw an arrow which points downwards. And this is the answer in the mark scheme. Arrow pointing up on side AB and down on side CD. I think this question is a good practice of how to use Fleming's left hand rule on deciding the direction of pushing force on a wire.